Hello and welcome to this special conversation. Today I'm being joined by Munish Sharda, MD and CEO of Future Generali Life Insurance, to talk about the new trend of products such as the EMI protection and salary replacement covers that are being launched in the insurance industry. Thanks very much, Munish, for joining me today on the show. So I want to start by asking you that we are seeing an emergence of this new trend of protection plans that the industry is launching. So, and you've also launched something similar. What I want to understand is why now? What's the reason that the industry is moving towards such niche products at this point in time? We think that protection sales will start uh, increasing very rapidly in the next few years' time. As the awareness is increasing, there is a need felt for uh, you know, uh, having an income replacement plans as well. The product that the customer buys has to speak to the need that you have. Now, you, you don't may not need all the money in one go. Is something that the consumer is also worried about. Okay. So we felt that need, and we designed a product which pays consumer or pays the nominee a fixed income uh, post death of the uh, of the family owner on a monthly basis for uh, age till age sixty or 10 years after that, whichever is lower. So we've seen emergence of these products. There are various variants that are, uh, uh, that are coming. In fact, many companies across the globe, they, uh, you know, they, uh, they give their employees benefits of this fixed income or salary protection. Uh, you know, somebody like Google, for instance, if you're a Google employee, and if, you, if death happens in a particular year, they secure your salary, last drawn salary for next 10 years. Okay. So I wouldn't say that you know, one should not buy lump sum or one should buy only income protection products. I think it's a mix of both. And one has to look at one's need. So essentially, this puts a whole new spin on buying protection covers. How should one really go about approaching their insurance planning given these new products? For, for somebody to plan, you have to, you have to see, your, you, know, you have to take, take a look at your entire uh, set of investments or assets that you have. Mm -hmm. You look at, look at how much income you're earning. You have to look at how much money your family may need in future because the income will keep going up, which is where most people actually fail to predict or fail to, you know, because when I bought my first policy uh, in 2001, uh, insurance policy in 2001, I thought if I get 25 lakh rupees for my daughter's education, it will be possibly good enough. But it is not good enough mm -hmm. because when, when I went to IIM, I spent 50,000 rupees a year. Today, when you go to IIM, you spend 10 lakh rupees a year. So the cost has increased 20 times. So you have to keep your future costs in mind before you buy, uh, if I buy insurance. And the time, right time to buy is when you're young. So given the fact that these are extremely niche segment products and the fact that insurance penetration itself in India is extremely low, what's the kind of potential that you see for such uh, segments and such niche products going forward? So first of all, at, the, at a segment level, at a protection segment level, I'd see we, we are seeing a trend that in, there's a, the protection sales is actually going up mm -hmm. uh, every year. Even if you look at you know, uh, an aggregation of all the Asian markets, the protection sale is actually increasing. It's predicted to increase from 20-25% uh, annually to about 40% of total sales of insurance in the year, in year 2020. And it's increasing at that pace. So we see protection sales to substantially increase uh, in the country. Now, within this, there is a specific set of consumers, you know, uh, maybe a salaried guy, maybe somebody on a fixed uh, you know, uh, uh, income basis who earns. Uh, we see an increasing demand of these products uh, from, uh, from uh, you know, investors. If you go out and if you look at especially people in IT companies, we're getting demand from IT companies saying, even if you're selling us a group platform product where you cover a large number of employees, even they are asking us to give them an income protection product mm -hmm. because it actually is a solution for the client. So you've explained to us how the product really works. Uh, take us through what's the kind of cost for these products and what are the exclusions that one should really be aware about? Like I, like I said, you know, uh, if you are a 30-year-old male, monthly income 50,000 bucks, premium will be in the range of 5, 6,000 inclusive of service tax. Uh, that's the cost. Uh, exclusions are not too many. I mean, it's just that, you know, when you buy a life protection product, it's very important for you to make all the disclosures, uh, medical disclosures ap appropriately. Mm -hmm. You should not hold back any information from the insurer. If you're a smoker, if you any ailment in the past, etc., you should just declare those. And apart from that, I don't think there's any... Uh, need for any you know, specific uh, set of uh, you know exclusions or declarations. And how do you think these products compare to global standards and the global uh, market for such uh, segments? My personal opinion is I think we, India is slightly ahead of the game mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, uh, product innovation. In terms of protection sales as a percentage of total, we are far behind. Right. 
uh, you know, if you look at the numbers, India's, you know, if uh, US is, let's say, 150% of GDP is total sum assured, India will be 75-80%. So the potential remains huge uh, in, the, in, the, in the market. Awareness is going up. India is a young country. Education levels are rising. I think, uh, you know, it's going to multiply many times in the next few years. And finally, any targets as far as future generally life insurance is concerned and what are the kind of innovations that you would be looking at going forward? We believe in, you know, in absolute simplicity for our clients. We also are working on solutions which makes it extremely simple for us to sell a product to consumer which is understood by the customer without making an effort over the counter. Right. So we are trying to design protection products and which can be sold over the counter mm -hmm. uh, to consumer in a big bazaar store. So, you know, doing a need analysis for the consumer, uh, selling him, you know, uh, the right level of protection for that, for his needs, etc., is something which is in our DNA. Mm -hmm. So we see huge potential, and I, I think, uh, you know, if we get about 20% of sales on protection of our total sales, I think that will be a very good number to gun for. All right, Manish, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for joining in. Thank you.